Hello dear friends, viewers and trolls who's gonna be blocked. Today is April 20th, 2020 and first I would like to say thank you to all the people who very generously donated to me in the past several months. The Surge from Ireland, the uh, Christine also from Ireland, Denise from uh, uh, Florida <laughs> and um, another Christine from Germany and uh, And Captain, of course, yes, yes, last but not least, Captain. Um, but it's all history now, right? Because I don't believe in our Lord and Savior Donald Trump. So, among other things, being asshole, openly, as I am. So, the UFO sightings, right? There are more and more of them. And uh, I've seen repeatedly UFOs right here on this hill. I had a very interesting... Um, thing yesterday I was really debating should I say or should I not because when I I can't really say what I saw unless I say what was happening uh, in my mind before because these are two different things luckily the scalar waves are not limited as a wireless network so our scalar waves our telepathy can really travel in real time through the universe and we can communicate with shit lots of obstacles but we can still communicate with uh, other dimensions so that's a good thing about you know being a soul in a human body speaking about that i constantly started to remind myself on three things as a soul i'm part of the god and i'm god i'm in this body and i am living in multi-dimensional prison and when i put this in perspective those three things everything started to be much clearer because in this dimension it's very easy to lose a track of who you are and what's going on so I'm a god in a human body and I live in multi-dimensional prison that really keeps me sane so speaking from that perspective yesterday I was communicating and um, from this or that reason I started to communicate with Pleiadians and I was quite reluctant to do so because of this certain uh, grudge I held towards them because they are really doing nothing to uh, and they're suffering here but I was wrong so what was happening is I was basically asking to be picked up and uh, taken away because um, of the thing which is approaching and um, you know, first I'm gonna get this off my chest, guys. Uh, I'm here because this is the only place where I can ground myself, put my bare feet on the ground. I have some uh, some jackets here and stuff like that. It's it's hidden here in the forest, and uh, and a wooden plank and stuff like that. And I come here to ground myself because the place where I live, I simply call it Sue. It's one of those typical buildings, as you can see there. And uh, it's it's full of Wi-Fi, like 25 different Wi-Fi spots um, in my in my room, not mentioning the the smartphones. So I calculated 25 plus uh, two times for smartphones. That should be like 75 signals hitting me. Um, constantly and it's getting worse worse and worse and now i'm gonna come to this uh, by the way cool guys in the neighborhood i i you know i started to reluctantly call them football hooligans but um because you know more i know them more i like them to be honest and um, these guys told me interesting things which uh, correlate with uh, you know what's happening to me they say you know when we touch something more of quite a number of them told me that uh, we feel you know, sparks coming out of our fingers electric uh, electric currency everywhere they're also bombarded by the Wi-Fi another thing is uh, you know they also notice when they think about something that ad uh, um, happens uh, on the Facebook which was also happening to me I just didn't speak much about it publicly but excuse me it happened you know for example 
I'll give you I'll, I'll give you one example. Um, I was fantasizing about having a beautiful house in in this peninsula, you know, East River. Only like rich people have a beautiful house. It's typically like you know, new one is like three four hundred thousand euros. While in the in the continental Croatia, you can buy excellent house for about thirty forty fifty thousand euros, just ten times lower price. And um, and I was just thinking about it. I was not googling it, I was not looking any ads, why should I have just fantasizing like playing with my mind one after another ad, real estate, right there when I was fantasizing. So, you know, it also happens to other people as well, so this technology is already well in, in place and now more and more people realizing that we simply don't have our privacy anymore. It's, it's actually reaching mainstream and these guys I'm talking about, they are not really mainstream because um, you know they, they are witty you know they, they have the energy they have creativity in them just being expressing it in maybe you know destructive ways but uh, they're cool and um, and they start to notice more and more what's going on and these are also guys who start to notice the the UFOs and they filmed one interesting UFO like a glowing dot uh, going uh, faster and faster and typically you can't really film those UFOs unless it's really shining unless it's really strong signal and they filmed it but uh, because uh, s their their voices are there um, they've been uh, reluctant to give me because um, I, I can't um, move the sound away because my because my, my laptop is uh, is dead so that's just you know technical issue and also this phone is four years old and it's you know it, it's on its way so you know if you, if you stop seeing me it's not because good or bad aliens took me or Illuminati, most probably it's simply because my Huawei P9 died after four years or more. Hey, even Huawei needs to die some, you know, at some point. So, it's a really good phone. I'm, I'm really happy, you know, $250 well spent in Phnom Penh in 2016. Thanks to extremely generous donation of one gentleman who is dead now. And I wasn't talking about him because I just want to keep it private, the memory on him and everything. So, um... We actually never spoken on a Skype or seen each other live. Um, but um, yeah, uh, they start to see UFOs. I start to see more and more of them. And um, you know, I have mixed feelings about what they're gonna say. But um, yesterday I had telepathic communication with Pleiadians, and I'm basically I was asking, uh, begging to be taken away from this planet because I know what's coming. And what's coming that um, they are dropping people more and more and calling that the sea thing. I can't. Now you need to understand, according to the new law, you can't say the sea thing, you know, the, because, you know, the, the masks and what's like uh, internet porn paranoia about it these days. You cannot say this thing and the five, you know, what network. You can't mention those two things in the same video. And because you guys have a pretty good IQ, you understand what I'm talking about. So, I know that it's approaching that typically now elderly people with a, with a bad immune system, with a, you know medical issues are dropping. But if these guys are dropping, that means uh, TIs are dropping and they start to put more and more five, you know what, towers in this area. And I started to notice it's, it's really getting... It's really getting painful to be at home. It's it's just um, even the 4G is stronger now than it was before, and uh, there are more and more uh, smartphones and, and everything around. And uh, you know, very very soon from now on, it, we're just gonna be cooked like in the soup. And that's why the whole the sea bullshit is is happening. And of course, obviously they're covering up what's actually going on. You know because. Um, it's military technology and it's been designed to kill us. That's what it is. Not the C thing, but the five thing, which is real. C is fake, five is real, you understand me? So, and I know that most of you really know that. So, I was, basically I was, I was begging uh, to be picked up from here. And when I was meditating on that, first flash of light happened in a sky and it was really local. It happened, uh, that area there and I was thinking mm, 
cucinele, mi se, you know, it's just a mind, mind playing tricks. And then second one, and then I knew it's, it's a real thing. And then after that, third one came, and I knew, okay, this is sign, but from whom? And then I noticed one of those little fast walkers which are patrolling sky started to move from here to that point. And that actually gave me some hope because technically speaking, um, if we notice the gap in reptilian patrolling, because you know those UFOs, they are just reptiles patrolling their farm, nothing more, nothing less. Um, or Grace or any other bullshit race working for them, including us. And then, um, you know, it, luckily with some gap in patrol, with some maybe more mindfulness from my side and Pleiadian side, it's actually possible to be evacuated from this planet. So, definitely something to hope. Um, funny or not, uh, What's the limit of possibility? Uh, who really want to stay in this shithole, honestly? And um, that's one thing. Another thing is what I noticed that with the people themselves. People really started to divide in two groups. One group which is really very frightened and very aggressive, glued to the TV, listening what their communist stojer, the committee, is telling them about the sea thing, always new fear porn. Uh, my mother was like really getting angry when she noticed that I'm going out, uh, you know, shouting, being really toxic. Oh, you're gonna kill me! You're gonna kill your polar mother! You know, you know, the, like, like, like from the B, B, B type movies when Italian mother is giving the the, the guilt trip to his its son who's trying to escape uh, from the little apartment in the urban area out just to breathe some air that kind of uh, that kind of uh, atmosphere <laughs> Fuck. but at least I have a place to stay you know I mean at least it's not suitcase in my hand so um, and another type of people which are socializing I, I'm alone here but uh, I actually met some really interesting people right here which know a little bit a little bit uh, of the conspiracy and uh, we started to socialize, we actually met five or six times here. And uh, I've been socializing with the football hooligans, which as I said, you know, typically, typically very, very cool guys. And, um, the, and this area turned into park. Now there are not many people because it's a bad weather. But when it's sunny, it's really like a park in downtown. Because borders between us and us targeted individuals of course we are sold and the normies are now really blurring because uh, normies uh, quite number of them simply ended up overnight being targeted they lost their jobs they can't leave that their area they they notice that they've been targeted by the Wi-Fi network even normies are noticing that something is rotten about that well, that's you know this definition of being TI you've been tortured by the Wi-Fi you can't work you, you have financial problems voila welcome to the club guys and what happened is um, more and more people started to ask me like Kruno what's gonna be next that's a typical question what's gonna be next and I'm telling them I know what's gonna be in my understanding by the year 2025 most of us are gonna be dead right and, I, and when I say this like you know like normal thing because we we knew that for, for a very long time they go Ooh, it's all you know so now paradoxically speaking now we TIs we are that beacon of light for the people we are we, we are here to give them the knowledge we are here to give them the guiding we are here to give them the hope and um, now everything what we've been talking and they've been like fuck off fuck off now it's like whoa you know everything started to make sense so uh, another paradox is that I never been more popular <laughs> you know um, speaking about that, uh, I have to say that um, when when C thing hit the fan, I received uh, two donations, and I want to thank publicly to the Surge from Ireland and to the uh, Christine from Ireland for those donations, and definitely I want to thank very much my friend Denise from Florida for her generosity. 
and if I go down the timeline, Christine from Germany uh, and a captain. And um, you know, sorry guys, if I if I forgot you, of course uh, there is a uh, A from from England and um, and other guys from the past. Thank you very much for your generous donations. Uh, they really, you know, help me quite a bit and um, it's always um, you know it's always Christmas when, when it happens I, you know, I have no words to describe my my joy maybe I should like film it <laughs> when I'm going to the post office to pick pick up the nation like you know bells ding dong ding dong ding dong you know you know one of those American Christmas movies from the 1950s <laughs> that kind of atmosphere <laughs> so um, Thank you, thank you, thank you. So that that's being noticed as well. That uh, increase in popularity, I should you not, and uh, more and more understanding from the general public about what we are and what we've been going through and uh, what what's going on in their lives. I'm just gonna give you two digressions, two digressions from the under big quotes of the football hooligans because that's how I announce them to you but basically most of them as I said are really really nice people they're just guys just guys hanging out in the street that's all maybe you know smoking a little bit and um, you know being a little bit rowdy too loud and stuff like that but nice guys but for the sake of the clarity some of them are really psychopaths so these guys repeatedly told me two things first thing when I think about something that appears on the Facebook and that happened to me and it happened to them and to me it of course happened to you as well and the second thing they start to complain about electricity coming out of them when they're trying to open the door or where they where they're trying to reach the any like iron object like a door or a rail uh, and that's that means there is more and more Wi-Fi and also also they told me thir third thing which is of course happening in my life as well that it's it's getting more and more difficult to to watch something on a on a smartphone and because they they feel that they're getting hammered with the Wi-Fi and um, and uh, really that that takes me to the topic we all know way too well it's getting more and more cooked to live in a in a typical building these days. I, I, you know, I had a phase when I was really microwaved in Phnom Penh and whoever was really microwaved, you know the feeling, first it's hot, then it's hot from one side, then, then you have this uh, pressure in your chest, then you're sweating, then of course uh, cooking in the brain and when it reaches that, that means you must leave the house and do grounding somewhere, you have to put your bare feet on the ground and and get it out of the system because otherwise maybe you're not gonna survive and now I'm not in that toxic phase okay but it's not that far away and it's 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 going on for more and more people and they're put, putting those you know what towers because we can't say the C thing and the five thing in the same video because of the fascist uh, control speech and um, so yeah definitely guys these are the end times they are just dropping us and it's not a secret that the two groups of people are dropping the people who are sick and old and the people who have been targeted and uh, you know I, I really can't tell you whether I'm gonna live one more year from this video or maybe three years but five years that's it uh, most of us are gonna be gone so um, that was this update and uh, I'm not gonna say anything more apart from uh, thank you for hanging out here thank you for the support uh, I always like to thank the people who've been hanging out here for a very long time like Seal the Nord like uh, Michael G like uh, Patty uh, like uh, Melchior uh, like uh, Avalon Mist uh, and, and others and uh, and the new guy 07 who has a couple of YouTube channels ask me a few questions as well uh, he's also you know very deep into this topic do do not panic you know this is this is something what you always need to uh, keep in your mind do not panic because uh, when mind is not prepared it's very easy to go into panic mode but um, you know it's a fine balance between do not panic and 
do not not realizing the real danger you understand me don't don't go too far into you know digging your head head in the sand um you know i've, I've been thinking uh, maybe maybe this summer i'm gonna be just spending more more time here camping because um the only thing which is pushing me away from here you know is a thermical uh, uh it's basically thermic isolation thermical uh, heat and cold isolation i have uh, in my apartment that's it and water you know basic utilities but the energy there is just uh, it's getting more and more hellish yeah definitely i, I, I you know fucking wi-fi man fucking wi-fi <laughs>